Gentlemen, my name is Dreadbread. Welcome back to the people of YouTube. We're going to be checking out this model real quick, but first let's go read the article. So we saw a little bit about this in one of my previous streams where they did a reveals for new models and stuff. This came out on the 1st of February of this year. We have Horus Heresy Thursday. Scout fast and strike hard with the red hot sentinel of the solar, solar exilia. exilia. I can speak. Sentinels are extremely cool, and Imperium Quartermasters know it. After all, we cooed over the awesome Athon Heavy Sentinel during the reveal of the new Plastic Solar Exilia range last week. But if that chunky beast is hardy, dependable trucks, uh, tr truck of the Sentinel range, today's reveal is a slimmer sports car cousin. Oh, so this is actually, I don't think, the model we've seen. This is a different version of it. This is the Hermes Light Sentinel, a true speed machine that carries the potent weapons across the battlefield faster than a charging Charonite or og Ogren. The Ogrens are big guys. They're nice. They're your buddies. They eat crayons, but they're not very smart, but they're good at squishing things. All right. It might look like it's missing a few armor panels, but the stripped down appearance is all in service. God, I need to... My old man eyes aren't a very good chat. I need to zoom in on this stuff, but if I zoom on in on it now, it'd look weird. So I apologize. I have old man eyes. Its appearance is in service uh, to its speed and m m maneuver maneuverability. I can speak. I know words. I good. This light and efficient sentinel is favorite for striking ex striking exposed enemy flanks and isolated command units then melting back into cover before significant resistance can muster. Alrighty. So, there it is. In all its glory, it's got a heavy gun right there. Daka, 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 daka. And then you can see there. So, it probably has different wep- Yeah, it has different weapons. So, here is, I don't know, like, a heavy artillery piece, maybe? It looks like this is a layers. And down here, you have the Flame Gaflir. Down here, you have a Melta and then the Volkite. All right, let's go back to reading this. They're typically equipped with a multi-laser for deadly anti-infantry punch, but can be swapped out with the heavier Hermes grenade launcher that trades range for versatility. A volley, a volley of high-powered crack grenades can even threaten armored tanks. Once the light sentinel darts around to the target, their vulnerable sides and rear. The Hermes are, has a heavier armor, more aggressive sub-pattern for elite Voltarius sections. Through a, though a touch slower thanks to its additional armor, the incurious pattern of the Hermes light sentinel packs even more fearsome arsenal to use of the Vel Veltarius driver superior skills. I'm not sure how to say that. I'm sorry. But there you go. There's the, the heavy flamer. And then there, there's this stuff down here. Uh, the Sentinels are safe to support the vicious frontal assaults that the Voltarius is that how you say it? I have no idea how to say this. Trekois are famous for and harrying fast-moving Legion Astartes units who would sweep away lighter Sentinel squadrons. These Searing Volkite cavalries can swap for heavy flamers for close-range breakthrough actions. Okay. Uh, rules for both of these are coming. Will be f uh, New campaign book. These will be in the new campaign book for the Beta Gar Gammon. Garmin. I can read chat. That's an older one. We're going to take a look at this real quick, chat. These are my boys. Heresy, her her Heresy Night Lords upgrade kit. Got some better looking helmets and shoulder pads, which are sold out right now. We have the old heads. And we have more shoulder pads. Oh no, these are newer heads. I have the older heads, which are a little bit different than this. Because these are still the Mark VI versions. Uh, I might pick up the Mark V. Ooh. I keep forgetting, chat. I am so sorry. I keep, keep forgetting that what you guys see and what I see is a little bit different. 
but these are the Mark VI helmets and and then the Mark VI bodies. I, I might swap out the Mark VI bodies for the Mark V bodies for some of my guys. I, I don't know. Um, that mean I have to pick up more guys to to uh, get. Uh, I haven't even touched my box yet. I don't know, Dreadbread. What's wrong with you? I've just been busy with work and lots of lots of other things. But I really I really like these guys. Um, I do like this color scheme. The only thing though is I like mine a bit darker than this. I just I always feel like they're meant to be darker. And I feel like a lot of people go towards more the um, ultramarine blue than the, the midnight black like they're supposed to be. The midnight blue. The midnight clad. But anyway. Uh, this one is probably going to be super short. So to the people over onto YouTube. Ooh. We also have... some very very cool just looking at this i think we i've seen this we've looked over this i like i like the old paint job right there redone i think that's kind of cool this is the raven guard but to the people over on the youtube that concludes this part of the vod i know i know short super short super duper short but to the people of YouTube, I will see you later. We're going to jump into some other stuff.